hello students let us continue with the another type of questions in this chapter the problem will be like this find limit extending to 0 f of x and limit extending to 1 f of x where f of x is equal to 2x plus 3 when x is less than or equal to 0 3 into x plus 1 when x is greater than 0 here function is defined in a different way in different intervals and uh, let us find the limit of this function and to find the limit of this function you have to find the limit of the function as x tends to 0 plus and 0 minus first let us find this limit extending to 0 plus f of x so here f of x is defined as 2x plus 3 when x is less than or equal to 0 3 into x plus 1 when x is greater than 0. Here x tending to 0 plus means it is positive, it is greater than 0. Therefore, you have to take 3 into x plus 1 as the function and that is why that is equal to limit x tending to 0 plus 3 into x plus 1. Now you can find the limit very easily put x equal to 0, we will have 3 into 0 plus 1 that is equal to 3. Similarly, let us find limit extending to 0 minus f of x. Limit extending to 0 minus f of x is equal to limit extending to 0 minus 2x plus 3. See here f of x equal to 2x plus 3 when x is less than or equal to 0. Here 0 minus means less than 0. That is why you have to take 2x plus 3. And that is equal to 2 into 0 plus 3. That is equal to 3. Here limit extending to 0 plus f of x is also 3 limit extending to 0 minus f of x is equal to 3 that is why we can tell that limit extending to 0 f of x is equal to 3 and that is the first part of the question similarly you have to find limit extending to 1 plus f of x see here 1 plus means 1 is positive 1 plus means slightly greater than 1 which is positive which is greater than 0 and how the function is defined when x is greater than 0? It is 3 into x plus 1. It is equal to limit extending to 1 plus 3 into x plus 1. Finding limit is very simple. It is a polynomial function and just put x equal to 1 here. You will have this is equal to 3 into 1 plus 1 because x equal to 1 here. Put x equal to 1. And 3 into 1 plus 1 means 3 into 2. That is equal to 6. Now, you have to find limit extending to 1 minus f of x. See here, limit extending to 1 minus. 1 minus means slightly less than 1. And the slightly less than 1 means it is again a positive. Just to observe here, 1 minus is not negative here. 1 minus means near to 1 but slightly less than 1. For example, 0 0.9, 0 0.99, 0 0.999 and so on. And all these numbers are positive that is why you have to use this definition only when x is greater than 0 how it is defined 3 into x plus 1 and now also you have to take this function as limit extending to 1 minus 3 into x plus 1 and that is equal to 3 into 1 plus 1 and that is equal to 6 and here the left hand limit and right hand limit both of them are equal equal to 6 therefore limit extending to 1 f of x is equal to 6 and this is the method of solving this question and you can understand it graphically and it is not required actually graph is not required just to understand i am showing this function in a graph sheet here f of x equal to 2x plus 3 when x is less than or equal to 0 when it is less than or equal to 0, it is a straight line 2x plus 3. When it is greater than 0, it is also a straight line 3x plus 3 or 3 into x plus 1. And it is like this. The red line shows this second function 3 into x plus 1. Blue line shows the 2x plus 3. Here, limit extending to 0. Here, tending to 0 from the negative side is equal to 3 limit extending to 0 plus f of x and both of them are equal and equal to 3 this is 3 you know that 
this height is 3 and uh, this is the, the limit of this function at x equal to 0 and similarly at x equal to 1 the left hand limit and right hand limit both of them are equal and equal to 6 this is the meaning of the limit as x tends to 1 from the left side of 1 or right side of 1 in both the cases f of x is approaching 6 that is the meaning of the limit of this function and I'll take one more question question is like this find limit extending to 1 f of x where f of x is equal to x square minus 1 when x is less than or equal to 1 and minus x square minus 1 when x is greater than 1 and the method of finding the limit is similar to the previous question and it is uh, defined in a different way and uh, let us take limit extending to 1 plus f of x here 1 plus means greater than 1 when it is greater than 1 how the function is defined minus x square minus 1 that's equal to limit extending to 1 plus minus x square minus 1 why i have taken minus x square minus 1 try to understand it here 1 plus means slightly greater than 1 and uh, when it is greater than 1 how the function is defined minus x square minus 1 that you have to substitute that and now you put x equal to 1 and you will have minus of 1 square minus 1 that is 1 square is 1 and minus 1 minus 1 that is equal to minus 2 that is the right hand limit now you find limit extending to 1 minus f of x 1 minus means less than 1 when it is less than 1 how the function is defined x square minus 1 and in place of f of x you have to put x square minus 1 limit extending to 1 minus x square minus 1 put x equal to 1 you will have 1 square minus 1 that is equal to 1 minus 1 which is equal to 0 here left hand limit is 0 and right hand limit is minus 2 you can observe left hand limit is 0 and whereas right hand limit is minus 2 they are not equal limit extending to 1 plus f of x is not equal to limit extending to 1 minus f of x therefore limit extending to 1 f of x does not exist now let us take the graph of the function and see here the function f of x equal to x square minus 1 when x is less than or equal to 1 and this uh, red color graph shows the graph of the function f of x equal to x square minus 1 now as x approaches 1 and you can observe that f of x is approaching 0 from the left side that is limit extending to 1 minus f of x equal to 0 if x approaches 1 from the right side of 1 and f of x is approaching to minus 2 that is limit extending to 1 plus f of x equal to minus 2 we will have the two different values for the left hand limit and right hand limit therefore limit does not exist in this problem and now you take this question evaluate limit extending to 0 f of x where f of x equal to mod x by x if x is not equal to 0 0 if x equal to 0 and to solve this question let us take a limit extending to 0 plus f of x limit extending to 0 plus f of x equal to mod x by x because when x is not equal to 0 it is mod x by x that is either for 0 plus or 0 minus in both the cases the function is defined in the same way that is mod x by x it is clearly given when x is not equal to 0 not equal to 0 means either it may be greater than 0 or less than 0 now limit extending to 0 plus f of x is equal to limit extending to 0 plus mod x by x that is equal to limit extending to 0 plus x by x because mod x equal to x when x is positive and that is why it is x by x that is equal to limit extending to 0 plus 1 and that is equal to 1 similarly let us find limit extending to 0 minus f of x that is equal to limit extending to 0 minus when it is less than 0 also mod x by x only that is equal to limit extending to minus x by x because 
mod x is equal to minus x when x is less than 0 and what is minus x by x it is equal to minus 1 limit extending to 0 minus minus 1 and which is equal to minus 1 here even the function is defined in the same way when x is not equal to 0 the limits are different and hence uh, the left hand limit and right hand limit are not equal therefore limit extending to 0 f of x does not exist and if you see the graph of this function and uh, it will be like this and it is uh, like a signum function when x is greater than 0 it is 1 when x is less than 0 it is minus 1 when x equal to 0 it is 0 as x tends to 0 from the left side f of x is tending to minus 1 and when x tends to 0 from the right side of 0 f of x is tending to plus 1 and left hand limit and right hand limit are different therefore the limit does not exist and with this much I will conclude this video and uh, in the next video let us continue with the other problem. Thank you.